The change of seasons often sneaks up on us. It seems that one moment we're working under the autumn sunlight, and the next we're watching for the first snowfall and listening for school closings. The onset of winter is also a busy time for everyone. Schedules get crowded, deadlines creep up on us, and there are holidays and vacations to prepare for. Amid all this activity, we often forget to make room for safety. Of course, we should always be on the lookout for problems and try to avoid dangerous situations. But during the winter months, there are additional hazards to watch out for. As soon as you feel that first blast of cold air on your cheeks, you'll remember the first rule of winter safety. Stay warm. Dress for the season. Layering your clothing both traps your body's heat and insulates you from the cold. In the rain and snow, you should wear a water repellent outer shell as well. Complete your wardrobe with a hat and a warm pair of gloves or mittens. But keeping warm isn't the only winter concern. Cold weather and icy conditions often result in slippery surfaces, which can lead to falls. You can help to prevent slipping by wearing shoes and boots with rough treads. Take small steps and watch out for slick spots. To prevent slipping accidents at home, keep your driveway and sidewalks clear of snow and ice. You can avoid back strain while snow shoveling by pushing with a shovel, using it like a plow instead of lifting. To make lifting easier and safer, use a smaller shovel and lift with your leg muscles, not your back. Don't overdo it. If your muscles begin to tighten up, take a stretching break to keep yourself from cramping. And pace yourself. Take a break now and then. More heart attacks occur when shoveling snow than with any other winter activity. Spread salt on walks and steps to melt any ice. Remember, salting before it snows can prevent ice from forming, as well as reduce the need for shoveling. If you're responsible for helping to keep your workplace safe in icy and snowy weather, the same principles apply. Make a list of walkways and parking lots that need to be kept clear. Check on them regularly to make sure they are cleaned off and hazard free. If you've ever ventured out after a winter storm, you know how treacherous the roads can be. Cold weather driving can be made easier by preparing your car for the season and by adjusting your driving habits. For smoother starting and easier running, get your car a tune-up. Don't forget to have the brakes and shock absorbers checked out. Inspect your tires. Get new ones if the treads are worn. Replace the windshield wipers if they show signs of wear as well. Make sure your radiator is filled with the appropriate coolant or antifreeze and that you have a good supply of wiper fluid. It can get used up quickly trying to keep your windshield clear. Stock your car with emergency supplies. Bring along extra antifreeze, a set of jumper cables, a small shovel, and some salt or sand to provide traction if you get stuck. You should also pack a flashlight, blanket, reflectors and flares or an emergency light. Before driving in ice or snow, check the weather forecast as well as traffic conditions to make sure it's safe to head out. To increase your visibility, clear the snow from your windows, headlights, and side mirrors. You can prevent snow from blowing back onto your windshield or the drivers behind you by brushing off your roof and hood as well. In many places, it's the law. This is especially important if you're driving a van or some other type of truck since they can carry a lot more snow than a car. Once you're ready, buckle up and get on your way. But don't rush. Allow yourself extra time to get where you're going and be cautious. When you're out on the road, drive defensively. Be alert and anticipate possible problems. Reduce your speed so you have more time to react to poor road conditions. Slow down if you have to make a sharp turn. If you don't, you may find yourself quickly spinning out of control. When stopping, apply your brakes gradually. This will help you to keep your car under control. 
Keep in mind that other drivers may not do so well in the snow. Give yourself additional time to stop by increasing the normal following distance between you and the driver in front of you. Be prepared to react if your car starts to skid. Do not slam on the brakes. This will lock up your wheels and make it harder to steer. Stay calm. Take your foot off the gas pedal and steer the car in the direction of the skid. The best way to stay safe on snowy and icy roads is to stay off them. So if the roads are in bad shape and you don't have to go somewhere, stay home. And remember, having a four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicle does not exempt you from winter driving problems. It's still easy to slip and slide. If you're working outside in the cold, there are precautions you need to take as well. Again, make sure you're dressed for the weather. Layering your clothes is always a good idea. Be careful to keep hydrated and monitor your energy level. It's easy to sweat away important fluids and minerals, even in chilly weather. And working in heavy clothing can tire you out quickly. Tools and equipment can behave differently in the cold too. Metal often gets brittle and can break or fracture more easily. Controls can be harder to operate and adjust. And remember, skin sticks to metal when it's cold. So keep your gloves on if at all possible. Of course, winter weather isn't all gloom and doom. It also provides plenty of opportunities for us to have some fun. Playing in the snow is something people of any age can enjoy. But whether you're out by yourself or with the kids, you need to be careful. If you're sledding, make sure there's plenty of room to stop at the bottom of the hill. Stay away from clear or icy patches. Avoid run-ins with bushes, trees, and other obstacles, and keep out of the street. And remember, adult supervision is always a good idea if kids are involved. A fresh snowfall can also lead to snowball fights. Have fun, but be careful. It's easy for someone to get hurt. Never aim for the head and make sure your snowballs don't contain any ice or stones. Once you're ready to come in from the cold, there's nothing like warming up in front of a roaring fire. If your fireplace is safe, that is. To help prevent problems, have your chimney professionally cleaned at least once a year. Without a good scrubbing, the soot inside can actually catch fire. To prevent burning embers from finding their way into your living room, keep a sturdy screen in front of the fireplace. Space heaters are another way lots of people keep warm. Be careful though. Before using an electric unit or one that burns kerosene or propane, you should read the owner's manual and follow the manufacturer's safety recommendations. Always position space heaters at least three feet away from combustible materials such as curtains or bedding. Be sure to use the correct fuel. Putting gasoline in a kerosene heater can result in a fire, even an explosion. To prevent buildup of hazardous carbon monoxide gas, you should only use kerosene and propane heaters in areas with adequate ventilation. In addition to having to cope with cold weather, winter time can also mean holiday decorating. If you put up a tree and are using a natural one this year, be sure it's healthy. Bend the needles to verify they aren't dried up and brittle. Bounce a pre-cut tree on the ground. If the needles fall off easily, it's another sign that the tree is too dry. Examine the trunk. A freshly cut tree will have sap on the bottom. When you've made your selection, put the tree in your trunk or tie it securely to the roof to get it home. Set the tree up in a sturdy stand. You should add some preservative to the tree's daily supply of water. It will extend the life of the tree and make it more fire resistant too. If you're using lights, make sure they're UL approved. Test the strings before putting them on the tree. Replace any defective bulbs and fuses. Look for frayed wiring, a cracked plug, or loose sockets. If you find anything wrong, throw the string away. Don't try to tape it up. The money that you save isn't worth risking a fire. Hiding an extension cord under a rug may make your living room look a little neater, but it's also a fire hazard, so don't do it. 
and don't create an electrical octopus either. Limit the number of plugs per outlet. Too many lights and appliances plugged into the same place can overload your circuits and start a fire. Any lights and other electric decorations that you use outside should be UL approved for outdoor use. Make sure that everything is securely attached. Be careful if you have to climb a ladder to put things up. When you're not there to enjoy them, you should unplug both your indoor and outdoor lights. Use light timers for your regular lights if you're worried that burglars will be tipped off that you're not home. Candles are also a part of many winter holiday celebrations, but they too must be kept away from materials that can catch fire. Don't place burning candles near decorations or trees, and never leave a lit candle unattended. Be sure to keep matches out of the reach of children as well. If a problem does occur with the lights or candles you're using, an early warning can often save lives. That's where smoke detectors come in. You should have at least one detector on each level of your home. Test them weekly and change the batteries twice a year. You should also keep a multi-purpose fire extinguisher in an easily accessible place. Make sure your entire family knows where it is and how to use it. Make sure you have an escape plan and have everyone practice it. That way, in case of a fire, everyone will know how to exit quickly and safely from any room in the house. Once our homes are decorated, many of us will invite people over. These gatherings can be a lot of fun, but whether you're a guest or a host, you have a responsibility to celebrate the season safely. Holiday get-togethers always have good food and conversation, and often alcohol. But whenever alcohol is around, it's important to drink responsibly. If you're going to a party, designate a driver so that your group can all get home safely. If you're the driver, this doesn't mean that you should drink less than your friends. It means that you should not drink alcohol at all. If you're hosting a party and serving alcohol or attending a work function where alcohol is available, there are several things you should remember. Don't forget to have non-alcoholic beverages on hand for the designated drivers and others who prefer not to drink. Always have something available to eat as well. Having food in your stomach also helps to slow the rate at which the body absorbs alcohol. Use a non-carbonated base like fruit juice when mixing an alcoholic punch. This also helps prevent the bloodstream from absorbing alcohol too fast. Encourage everyone to have some non-alcoholic beverages before they go. Your responsibility as a host doesn't end as people begin to leave. Never let anyone drive home if they've had too much to drink. Don't let them get behind the wheel. Instead, arrange a ride for them with other departing guests or schedule a pickup by a service like Uber or Lyft. If none of these options are available, have them stay overnight. Hosts definitely don't want their guests driving drunk. If you are out and about during the holidays and suspect another driver of being under the influence, stay out of their way. Pull over or take an alternate route home. Use your cell phone to report anyone you see driving erratically to the police. You just might save someone else down the road. Unlike us, accidents don't take holidays, but there are things we can do to keep ourselves and others safe all winter long. Let's review. Dress for the season. Insulate yourself from the cold and don't forget your hat and gloves. Shovel the snow from your driveway and sidewalks, but remember not to overdo it. Winterize your car, and don't forget those emergency supplies. Drive cautiously on snow and ice. Always maintain a safe following distance. Avoid fire hazards. Be careful with fireplaces, space heaters, and holiday lights. Remember to celebrate with care. Don't drink too much and never allow anyone to drive under the influence. There's no mystery to staying safe during the winter. If you stay on the lookout for hazards and think safety, you can put potential accidents in a deep freeze.